How are you all doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Tesco. Come and have a look what I got. I'm going to walk around Tesco as you do and I came across these. Or this. Chicago Town. Fully loaded deep dish. And here's where it gets scary. The vegan one. Um, it's new. Two barbecue chicken. Made... Or, oh, sorry, two barbecue chick -n made with squeaky bean. <laughs> that does sound um, a bit strange, doesn't it? So you do them in the microwave for three minutes or 25 minutes in the oven. And there is a traffic light system. However, it's all black, so not much of a traffic light system. We're going to have a look at this. We really have. These were three quid. For two Diddy pizzas, pound fifty a pizza, if my maths are correct. So let's take a look at the packaging. So we've got some shadows, I'm very sorry about the shadows. So we've got a look at the front, let's go around the back, because let's see what we're dealing with. Because we're dealing with it, aren't we? We are dealing with this. They are the um, ingredients there, look, and you can find them on... Um, Facebook, um, Instagram and Twitter and if you go to their website for more information. A deep a dish pizza base topped with smoky barbecue sauce, grated pizza topping, vegan meat substitute, red peppers and sweet corn. They are the ingredients. Allergens are wheat in there and barley. Ah, so we've got... A vegan meat substitute. Oh. Yeah. So there you are. Two times 155 grams. 310 grams. Some more spiel here. Look. Uh, loads of spiel. And you can scan it. Look with your, your mobile phone. Camera. And there is the nutritional information. Uh, and if you want to pause that and have a look at that in more detail. Then uh, go ahead. Um, and they're the ways to cook. We've already just covered that, really, haven't we? These are guidelines, always guidelines. For best results, oven cook. Um, so you can do them in the microwave. And I have done microwavable pizzas before, and they've been pretty good. But I'm going to do best results, because I've got a feeling I need best results to eat this. I need all the, you know, extra help I can get. So I'm going to do them in the oven. In fact, I'm, I'll do one in the oven. I'll just totally waste loads of electricity because I'll do one in the oven and I'll microwave one. So we'll see what they're like. All right, let's get them open. See what we have got. So it's not V-January, is it? Or V-January. That's it, V-January. It's not that, is it? It's what we're in now. Um, we're in summer, aren't we? So we've got, a tab, we've got a tab system. We haven't really. You've just got to open it up using your finger. The old one finger technique. Um, wow, that, that's it. That's what you get. I mean... You get, you get sweet corn on there, look, red peppers, um, and then you get some like vegan cheese, um, and you get the sort of the vegan meat substitute. I'm going to have a look in a bit more depth and detail as to what that is, but yeah, that's that's it, that's what you get. That's it. Just preheating the oven now on the pizza setting, and I did, I have done quite a bit of a vegan, of uh, vegetarian food. And I've actually got a vegetarian playlist um, if you want to have a look and have a laugh. Um, because, I, I mean, I'm not, not, I'm not knocking it until I try it. But I have done, like I say, vegetarian food before and it has been not good. And the, probably the one of the, the, the videos that's been mostly watched, most watched, is the, the vegetarian hot dogs. Now, they looked absolutely really good when i was cooking them they looked so good in the pan they, they, they were just i was salivating i was until i tried it so i get lots of comments on that um and i'll put a link in the description to that playlist if you want to watch it and have a laugh if you want to if you're feeling a bit down and um, just watch that video and it'll it, well it should well it didn't cheer me up didn't cheer me up like but i get lots of comments saying it, it made me laugh so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, so, right, this is pre-eating. 
It's not going to use a lot of electricity this. It, it, for 22 minutes at, at 190, it'll be about 13 pence, 14 pence, and that is with preheating. It is very an economical cooker. Well, I can't say I've tried many, but 13 pence for 25 minutes, not too bad, is it? I don't think, don't think. I'm going to do one in the microwave anyway. Right, I'll bring it back in a bit. But before I bring it back, when they're done, we're going to get into them. So let's see if we can get into them without using a knife. I don't, we, we probably can if you've got, if you, yeah, you can. You don't need a knife. Just need a bit of perseverance. Um, these are, fro I think, yes, they are frozen. Well, they were frozen, but they've been, they've been in my car for about 20 minutes and it's quite warm out there. So it, they're becoming unfrozen. Um, oh. there, there's your meat substitute. We'll get a little bit of a, a closer look if it, if it can focus on there. That's what you get. And I'll have a look at the ingredients now and I can see exactly what we're up against. So there it is there. It's a um, vegan meat substitute. It says it's 7%. Um, so it's water, textured wheat, a blend. Um, so that there is the oven saying it's preheated. Um, wheat protein. Ah. Well, we've got to try it first. I can't go having a go at it because I've not tried it. Right, let's get this in the oven. All in the name of science is this. So it just goes on the rack. You don't need no plates or trays. I put it on for 190 uh, for 22 minutes. So after that, I'll bring you back. Um, and then we'll get the old uh, other one in the microwave. And that takes three minutes at 800. But they're only guidelines. Right. I can't say I'm salivating, but I do like pizza. I got some channel news. Um, um, it's Thursday it today, Thursday. I'll be going live Friday night. If this video goes out tomorrow, which will be Friday, then I'm going live tonight. If this video goes out today, which is Thursday, I'm going live tomorrow night. Um, that's the plan up to now. It'll be about half seven. Quarter to eight, I'll go live. Um, and if you if you subscribe to the channel, I'll put um, a message in the communication um, and you will know exactly when I'll be going live. Um, um, and I'll put a post on Facebook and Instagram and Ball Foodie Guy. I'm on there as well. I might as well plug that. Um, so, because I get a lot of people who are on there who, who I put links on there to the channel as well and also um, if I may ask I I get lots of comments on my videos and I do like to um, sort of reply to every comment and if it's getting tough it's getting difficult and if I can't reply to you I'll put it like a, it's a love heart you know like loved your comment um, I can't have sort of, it's getting difficult to have a one-on-one -on -one -on conversation with everyone now because it's, you know, I, I'm getting that many comments and don't, don't please stop commenting. I do like your comments and that's what the channel's been all about from the beginning. Um, it's, it's, it's like a community and, and, I, and I get people who watch me and they have friends with other people who watch me on YouTube and it's, it's a lovely it's a lovely sort of a friendly foodie community, which is fantastic. Um, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I, I wouldn't want to be someone who just puts a video out and doesn't comment because that's just, what's the point of doing that really? Anyway, so that's the channel news. And if you skip this bit, you won't know. Because that was my next question if I may ask, um, that I get lots of comments as well on my videos and I know from the comments you've skipped to the end and you basically, if you watch the whole video, I know that could be hard work, um, but then it'll save you commenting because I've already answered your comment. 
halfway through if you if you were there so sorry that one out right <laughs> right we've got another 16 minutes it is smelling nice it's smelling good it is smelling good so there's a good start but I was like that with them vegetarian hot dogs it didn't go down well right we'll get back in a bit this one's going in the microwave um, and the squeaky bean is referring to these bits of sort of um, imitation chicken it's done have a look at that um, yeah I mean it smells okay but it's yeah I mean let's try it first let me know what you think of it I'm gonna cut it in half so it's gone half there oh. The, the edges have gone hard. I did it in the in the oven as for the time specified. In fact, I did it 22 minutes. Um, don't want to do it any longer, really. Um, the the base is crispy. Yeah. Th there's the microwave one. This now this is looking. Um, it's not as hard. It's softer, and it's it's looking more tastier than that one, isn't it? It's look that that one looks a bit dry. Um done in the oven but that says best results this is the microwave one whoa that is hot <laughs> got a soggy bottom there it is we're going to try this one first First thing that hit me was the heat. No, no, it's not spicy or hot chilies or anything. Just because it's just red hot from cooking temperature. Was the barbecue, was that sort of like a smoky barbecue sauce. Mm. It's crispy, the crust is crispy. The cheese, um, it's lost. I can taste the sweet corn. The peppers are lost. But I'm getting a real sort of a flavour of that sort of imitation smoked barbecue sauce. So let's try, let's try a bit of this sort of imitation chicken. Just completely broken down in my mouth. A little bit crispy on that bit. No consistency of chicken at all. But it's not, it's not, it's not horrible in any way. In fact, that sauce is quite nice. Bearing in mind, there's, there's nearly 400 calories in one of these pizzas. 375 calories per pizza. There's not a lot of cheese on them neither. Right, hang on. So there's the one done in the microwave. It's soggy. Now, ah, it's hot as well. So that is more sort of... I mean, it, they all serve a purpose, these, don't they? You know, I mean, this video might not be for everyone, but it'll be for ve vegetarians, vegans and all that. Right, I'm gonna get this cut in half. Yeah, so this chops, it's just soft, it's just gonna it's gonna be like that in the microwave, innit? That's that's how it that's how they go in the microwave. This is the microwave one. So you sort of you sort of knew that it'd be it'd go like that being done in the microwave. Mm. Just the same as the other one, but soggy. That's 
sweet corn, the sweet corn is quite tasty. But a lot of bread. So would I buy that again? Well, if you're, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, give it a go because it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's I'm going to get into the one that's cooked a bit. You know, the one I did in the oven. I'm not sure if I've done a vegan pizza on the channel. Well, that bread's hard. But I'm getting some healthy vegetables down me. I dare say there's no nitrates in this sort of chicken because that's when you get to a certain age, like I'm 51 coming up, 51 in a couple of months. Um, and I've got to, um, two lovely girls, they're coming up eight years old, so. You know, you don't think about this when you're young, but when you get older, you think about sort of mortality. I don't want to put a downer on the old uh, review, like. <laughs> um, but you just, uh, I, don't, I want to be around when I'm older for my kids. I don't want to be, you know, six foot under. I don't want to be eating bugs, that's for sure. As a substitute to meat, I love meat, I do. Anyway, but what am I trying to say? I don't even know what I'm saying here. I'm digging myself a hole here, and I boom boom. <laughs> the sauce is tasty. I mean, the chicken on um, frozen sort of chicken like this, anyway. I can't really taste it anyway, but it definitely hasn't got the consistency of chicken. It just breaks apart, completely breaks apart. But it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know there's, it's lacking in fat. <laughs> You're lacking in the fat and the flavour of, of the cheese that just melts and oozes all out with all the grease. You know, I don't know. Chicken is pretty um, fatless, isn't it? Um, but give it a whirl, see what you think. Um, get some healthy vegetables down me anyway, some sweet corn. So thanks for watching, a bit of a long one. If you've, um, I did do a bit of talking in the middle. If you skip straight to this bit, you'll have missed me talking and my channel news. Which you can probably go back and watch probably halfway through. But I'll be going live. Well, I, I, I spoke about it anyway. So I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Um, and if you if you if you like the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And it is a long video. If if you like to watch shorter videos, then go and watch a YouTuber who does short videos. Um, because this is my style. This is what I do. Um, and I'm not changing. Right, I'm off. Take care. What about it again? If I was definitely gonna go vegan or vegetarian, I would be, I would be, I would be buying it again. But because I'm not, for that reason, I'm not gonna buy it again. And for a, a vegetarian and or a vegan pizza, it's 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 pretty good, to be honest. It's it's a probably a. I'm I'm, I'm sort of I'm, I'm judging this on the vegetarian scale. So this is a, probably a seven and a half to eight on the vegetarian scale um, because it's actual it's edible which is good right take care all the best i'll catch you on the next one i couldn't catch